Hi and welcome to the second SAMPATLAB 5 app tutorial. In this video we will show you a complete measurement with the SAMPATLAB 5 app, how to add pictures to your session and how to control the print report on your computer with your iPad. First I connect with the SAMPATLAB 5 software running on my PC. I choose and tap the measure button on the left side. Now I can choose which report should be displayed directly after the measurement is complete. In this case, I don't want to open the report directly, so I choose No Report. This is the measurement screen of the iPad app. On the bottom, you can find the familiar SAMPATLAB controls like Direct and Countdown Calibration, Stroke Detection, Delete the Last Putt and Save and Exit. On the lower right corner, you can find the actual status of the SAMPATLAB. At the moment, there is no data signal available. I activate the triplet and the app tells me the next step, in this case to calibrate the system. I put the putter into the sweet spot, calibrate the system and make my first putt. You can see in the PuttLab app, as well as in the SamPuttLab 5 software, that the first putt has been successfully recorded. I will make additional 4 putts and complete the measurement now. At the top you can find additional features like taking a video, a picture and the option to edit pictures. Because I'm actually connected with the SamPuttLab 5 software on the my computer, the media will be stored directly on the PC. I will take a picture of the putter I have been using, choose a file name and finish my measurement with the fifth putt. The app asks me if I want to save the media I have recorded to the dataset. I choose yes and I find myself back in the main menu. In the lower right corner you can now see the media which has been attached to the record. In the main menu the new measurement is automatically selected. On the left side choose print to open the print report for the measurement. Select the print report you want to view and tap the select button. The extended print report is now opened in the SAMPATLAB 5 software on your computer. Instead of standing in front of your computer, the PuttLab app gives you the control to scroll up and down, zoom in and out and switch to the next page. Of course, you can still use the original input methods via keyboard and mouse at the same time. Tapping on the main button will bring you back to the main menu. We hope this video has given you a basic overview about what you can do with the new remote control feature of SAMPATLAB 5. Check out our website and YouTube channel for more videos regarding the tablet app, like creating report videos with audio comments and how to share data with your friends and students.